Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone is having a great day. So we're going to go ahead and continue with our collective readings. This will be for all signs, which means it may or may not resonate with you in your personal situation. If it does, take what resonates. If it does not, leave the rest for those that it applies in their personal situation. All right, collective. So I just uploaded a video, you know, picking up your energy after yesterday's ridiculousness, energy dissipated. You're all good. You're moving on. You're doing what you got to do. And I'm picking up a lot of things. Um, you may be picking up on this energetically, um, spiritually as well. It's like you got a, you got a boost. That's that man. Mm. <laughs> That's that Ace of Pentacles energy that I'm picking up for some of you guys. Um, um, what is it? I had a Ace of Pentacles and a Ten of Pentacles come out in one of my readings yesterday. I'm feeling that energy for y'all. Somebody's getting a spiritual upgrade is what I'm what I'm getting, and I'll get more into that because I've got some some information to give you. Your ancestors came out, okay? So the putting all that in together, I'm feeling like a releasing energy. You're like, all right, I know who I am. I'm bossed up. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? Confirm with the Six of Swords energy. This is your energy right now. It's, you know, moving on the karma waters, you know, using sword energy, air communication energy to overcome water energy, overcoming your emotions. So you're overcoming your emotions with sword energy, words, and communication. This is you alchemizing. Man, I just said that on my very last reading. You're alchemizing energy. Y'all, y'all be on top of y'all games energetically. I love it. I love it. Like all the energy out here, it, I feel it is really good. And I've got some downloads and I can't wait to get into, uh, get into it with you. But because you're moved on, you're back in your, your natural energy, boss mode, nine of pentacles energy, hardworking, trustworthy, independable. You know what I'm saying? This is one of the slowest nights in the deck. So it's like, it may be taking you a bit of time to do whatever you're doing, whether it's your job, your business, your craft, your spiritual journey in general, you're, you're committed, right? This night ain't going nowhere. These people thought they knocked you off. They thought they stopped you. Ha! They stopped nothing. <laughs> I just wanted to do that little laugh, but yeah, <laughs> you are not stopping you're committed to whatever you're doing right it's because you're also carrying the energy um i had said that you had the energy of the sun come out in my last reading that i uploaded so this is you in your king of cups energy like i said this seven of, excuse me, six of swords is using air communication to overcome water um energy so water is emotions right so here's you confirm what i just said arrow king of cups you're in control of your feelings right you're somebody who's very loving, nurturing, and you're a supporter of people. You're a supporter of the people. You know what I'm saying, Collective? The King of Cups is also someone who gives good sage counsel, right? You're a leader. I want to say a spiritual leader. Higher funds out here, that might be you. You might be somebody that's a leader in the spiritual community. I go head on now. But somebody wanted y'all stuck, okay? Somebody wanted y'all stuck. And this is confirmed with the Eight of Wands and the Inverse Energy. Somebody wanted you stuck, having delays. You know what I'm saying? I do feel like this is work related. So back to this work bully situation. So it's like you had to get back on your horse, literally, literally, you know what I'm saying? You had to move on from whatever the situation was regarding the work uh, situation. You realize who the heck you were and getting in control of your feelings, controlling it with the, the air communication, right? You're like, all right, I know who I am. I know they wanted me stuck and that's not where I'm at right now. Um, you know, when it comes to this work situation, I feel like that's the energy right now because you had some negative energy being thrown at you yesterday. You're like, no, I know what time it is. You know, energy was trying to keep me stuck, but this work bully specifically wanted to keep you stuck with that eight of wands in the inverse, having you stuck, having delays, right? And for you not to be able to manifest with this ace of wands in the inverse. Blocked energy, not being able to create, not being able to move, not being able to manifest. That's what somebody wanted for you. And here they go, queen of pentacles in the inverse. See, told you, it's right under you. Mm. This is this is this work bully. This work bully wanted to keep you stuck and not wanting to create and not wanting to you to move on, right? This Queen of Pentacles is somebody who's greedy, lazy, very materialistic. You know, they show off, but they show off with other people's money. They show off with other people's um, you know, talents and treasures. This person ain't got nothing to show off about because if they got it, they stole it. Okay? This is a thief straight up. You know what I mean? So this is somebody who is like and I I'm pulling that, um, what I said the other day, they move from being overt to covert. They want you to see them and whatever they do. That's that showy energy. They're just like, I'm better than you. I'm like, whatever, you're better than nobody. You're a liar and a thief. Sit down. <laughs> Sit down. But this person, and it's like, it's like I was telling you yesterday, it's this person's insecurities. I put a post up on the community board saying that. It's their insecurities. You trigger the hell out of this person because you were the one that's that's hardworking, trustworthy, and dependable. Man, I told y'all that yesterday. This person is uh, in their delusion, thinking that they 
have something to brag about. They ain't got Jack to brag about because they're not the, the one that's working. It's you. You're the committed one. Y'all see what I'm saying? Man, this is what? How many times this keeps coming out that literally this way, the, the difference between your energy, it's like they always want you to take on their energy. Literally, they want you to take on their energy, but it's not your energy. Man, I don't make this stuff up. This person is full of crap. They're lazy and they're a thief and they're a liar, right? And that makes them happy. Nine of Cups in the upright happy. It gives them personal satisfaction to take off of your abundance. Man, I don't make any of this stuff up. Y'all see how this Nine of Cups? Personal satisfaction, abundance, and very happy and content. But it's right under you. They're trying to steal your glory, to steal from you, to steal your loving nature, to steal your supportive nature, to steal how much of a, a good supporter of people that you are. This person was trying to steal from you any which way they could. Copy your nature, copy your name, copy your content, copy your products, copy your business, copy your ideas. They just wanted to copy you because this person's a copycat thief lion. A lion something. I was about to call him a name. But they're a lion person, okay? You know what I'm saying? But this person was trying to copy everything that you do. It's their insecurity complex is kicking in because they know that they are not who you are. This is you, hardworking, loving, supportive. People listen to you and not them. So they wanted to keep you stuck so people will listen to them for their own personal satisfaction. Y'all, this person's an idiot because this, this junk never works. This person, uh, this, this thing doesn't work because your energy always keeps coming out like that. So I don't care what they delude themselves into thinking, right, Collective? This is always gonna be your energy. You work hard and you love people and you support people and you are someone who's in control of yourself. Meanwhile, this person is control of nothing. They want it to keep controlling you. Confirmed by this two of swords in the inverse. They made a decision, right? They took a decisive action to keep you stuck. The energy is right here, y'all. This is what this was not a mistake. This was not by happenstance. This is what this person did. Because they were triggered because of their insecurity complexes. They're like-minded, they can't create, they can't move like you, they can't love like you. They're not as committed as you because they're lazy and greedy. Lazy, okay? But that makes them happy. But I'm just like, make it make sense. If this is your energy, this whoever this work bully is, whether it's your boss, coworker, what have you, somebody at your job likes being this way. This person doesn't do anything. If you were really to look at the work that they do, it would be full of uh, mistakes. They lie about what they do. They'll tell somebody, yeah, I did this and this and this. And then you go back and check it and it, it was not done or it was either done just horribly and they can't, they won't be able to give you a reasonable explanation for it. This will be somebody who cannot answer for the mistakes that they make, but they're quick to point out yours. Y'all know what I'm talking about because this is a person that you work around. They will not answer for their own mistakes. Okay. Because they pretend that there aren't any. <laughs> delusional right but they have mistakes and you see them you see them because your light of god is meant to expose that demon you see what i'm saying but you see the mistakes that they make meanwhile they're trying to point out your mistakes or whatever to try to keep you stuck but it's just like you're you're, you're you you outsmarted them in their own game is what i'm getting in the energy because they decided to start this game with you you know because of their own insecurities and their own delusional mind frame that they are better they're not better than anybody because they're so lazy and they're just they're they're not focused on their own accolades they're focused on taking other people's accolades you see what i'm saying because this is your energy this is your energy so they wanted to take it from you by making a decision to keep you stuck this is the energy they also wanted to keep you in depression and some type of self-absorption and i know that it made y'all feel some type of way because i felt that i felt it very heavy last week but i feel like it's like letting go like it's like a releasing right energy but I do know uh, that I felt in the energy with y'all, one of the things that you were going to struggle with is, man, I fought so hard for this job. I mean, I fought so hard for this position. I'm able to supply my livelihood for myself, my family, or what have you. I like this position. I like where I'm at, right? And I don't want to say that that's you being self-absorbed, but that was the one thing that you did not want to let go. You know what I'm saying? I know that you didn't want to let it go because you fought too hard to let somebody like this take it away from you. But it doesn't matter. You're getting something either new, improved, bigger and better, or you're just moving away from this person, period. However it resonates in your situation, right? Because you're the nine of pentacles, single, self-sufficient and independent, right? This person could not ever, ever in their friggin' dreams think that they could ever be you. Think that they could ever take your glory. Man, honey, look, 
You can do everything by yourself. Heavy pinnacle energy. This is you carrying your own finance, security, and stability in yourself. You don't need nobody else to provide it for you. So if this is your boss, this would be a boss who would be, uh, let you believe or make you feel energetically at least that they are in control of your finance, security, and stability. Man, I've seen that so many times in the workplace. It ain't funny. That is the lie that the matrix wants you to believe. Y'all don't believe the hype. Do not believe the hype. The Most High has got y'all covered on all fronts when it comes to y'all's stability and your security. Your abundance comes from the Most High, which is why it's always guaranteed to you because you believe in Him. You know what I'm saying, collective? These people, man, I swear I've seen this a lot in the workplace. It's like the gatekeepers is what I was telling y'all yesterday. The gatekeepers are like, no, you can't do this or you won't have anything. Honey, you're a liar and the truth ain't in you, okay? That means you work for the one downstairs, okay? Because the when it comes to your life and your abundance, it is not in any single man or woman, okay? It is not. I don't care what these people thought. Forget what they're trying to tell you or project towards you energetically. You have the energy to manifest wherever you go, to create a new beginning wherever you go, all by yourself, all by yourself. And these people are lying to themselves, thinking that they can stop you because they ain't stopping nothing. Literally. Literally, they ain't stopping nothing. Because you got the Five of Cups and the inverse energy. You are renewing your faith in the future. You know what I'm saying? Being grateful for what you have. You know that the Most High provides everything for you. You are not in a lack mindset. These people are. People with lack mindsets, they don't know where their life is going. They throw it away. They're very insecure. So it's just like... Well, if they don't know what's going to happen next, they're like, I, I don't know what to do. So I just need to make somebody else feel bad about whatever they got going on. Honey, it don't matter. It, it, it doesn't even matter if you just you lose this job. It doesn't matter. You're going to find another one just like that because that's who the most high, uh, that's what the most high promised you. You know what I'm saying? So it's like the energy that you carry will never allow you to stay down. Never. Y'all just need to have faith in the most high's promise of the abundance. Look at, look at all this pinnacle energy. Nine of Pentacles, hardworking, trustworthy, independent, single, self-sufficient, independent. This is you with this karmic in, in, in the middle, whoever this boss person is, this co-worker person is. Greedy, lazy, materialistic. They like to show off, but they ain't showing off but nothing but what they stole. Mm. Liars, greedy, lazy, thieving people who have lack mindsets and can't do what you do even in their dreams. Meanwhile, you believe in the Most High's promise. You're having faith in the future with this Five of Cups and the inverse energy. You're having faith in the future and overcoming whatever this emotional situation is. Y'all, they tried to drain you energetically as well. Not only with this energy in the workplace, look at all this uh, uh, cups energy here. Here's you in control of your, your emotions and your feelings, right? Because they were trying to take from you energetically and in the 3D and trying to stop you from being, moving on and creating, right? And working, but you're overcoming that. You're overcoming some type of night of swords energy, some type of chaos, some type of argument, um, just, just really chaotic situation. You are overcoming it. Y'all, I do feel that energy and this is combined with the night, uh, six of swords energy. Your knight of swords energy is no longer your knight of swords energy. It's either getting to be a thing in the past or will be a thing in the past. You are going to get through this. Okay. Just want to confirm because you are the magician, man. This is all y'all good energy. It's like so good right now because nobody can stop you because of the energy that you carry. You know what I'm saying? The magician is someone who uses all their time, uh, their, their skill, their resources, all the elements to co-create with the universe. You see what I'm saying? This is you and your magician energy, right? Somebody's an actual true magician out here. Like for real, for real. Your energy is so abundant by itself. Your energy creates abundance. Your energy manifests with the universe. Um, I'm getting some, uh, I got some downloads about your ancestors. I'm going to get to that in a second, but this is you using all the tools, all the resources, all the skills, all the elements to your advantage. So this could resonate in a lot of different ways, whether it's energetically, cause I do feel that piece as well. Um, this could be you, you know, using your resources, like in the workplace, getting in touch with HR, getting in touch with other business contacts, um, you know, starting that new business, get networking. So this could resonate in a lot of different ways for a lot of different people. That's your magician energy. You're using all the elements, all the tools at your disposal. Confirm with the three of pentacles. You are going to be working with people. Um, the download that I got with the three of pentacles, it's worth some type of teamwork, some type of partnership. The download that I got with this three of pentacles is one person in particular, but I do see it might be two for some people with the three of pentacles energy. 
somebody that you're going to connect with using your networking, you know, to be able to move on from this chaos. It's going to be somebody that you trust, someone who's trustworthy, somebody that's on your level, somebody who also knows about this uh, chaos and this Nine of Swords energy. Somebody knows exactly what you went through. So whether this is somebody in HR, a different boss, a different business partner, if you're on your own business. So somebody is going to partner with you that is on your level and knows about what you went through. This is going to be somebody who respects you because you overcame so much. So like they knew that this was like, a hard thing for you to overcome. And it's like you networking and connecting with whoever this person is, it's gonna help give you that boost. And I said, I, I do feel like a boost in your energy. This is a part of it as well, this three of pentacles. Whoever you're gonna partner with, however that resonates, you're gonna partner with somebody um, in that magician energy, right? Because what I just say earlier, you're a higher front, right? But I do have some downloads specifically about this. This is, um, like I said, I do feel that spiritual piece as well. That higher front energy is it's spirituality, it's organized groups. It is, you know, some type of organized religion. You might be a leader in a spiritual community dealing with something in the 3D as well. This might be going on in the spiritual community, okay? So the, take the energy as it resonates in a lot of different situations. Um, the downloads that I have regarding this Hierophant energy have to do with your ancestors, okay? I'm being called to talk to you. Your Hierophant and the Magician energy. You're getting... The vision that I got uh, was from your ancestors. They are confirming that you have been crowned is what I'm uh, getting in the energy. You've been crowned as a leader in the spiritual community. So this might be somebody who is just realizing that they are a magician. They are somebody who knows how to co-create with the universe using your positive energy. You know what I'm saying? That elemental energy. You're somebody who just figured out how to control that, right? Um, I'm getting ancestors coming through and, you know, ancestors from all over the globe, right? I'm getting somebody from Aztec ancestry, somebody from African ancestry, somebody from Australian ancestry, somebody from Native American. And um, um, this, I'm, I'm getting a lot of your bloodline is like coming through to you. You may be able to pick up on this as well. I'm getting some type of a ceremony with a headdress or a dressing around your head. And it's like a confirmation of your your spiritual seat of authority within your bloodline, within your ancestry. Um, you know, just as an example to, to, to help you get a picture of what I'm saying. You know, a lot of, you know, spiritual leaders and Native American cultures, um, to designate who they are and what they do, it's the headdress to signify that, right? So that's an example of what I'm saying and what I'm seeing through somebody's bloodline, somebody's culture. It's, I see them adorning you with a headdress or a dressing, and it's like ceremonial to crown you as a Hierophant. Somebody is getting crowned by your ancestors as a spiritual leader, as a Hierophant. Congratulations, collective. You've made it. And I'm not saying this, your ancestors are saying this. So if you do take time to reach out to your ancestors, you'll pick up on this as well. And this will be somebody's confirmation that you are a magician, you are a Hierophant. Man, I, I love y'all energy. And like I said, y'all always got back up. Don't forget y'all ancestors. Y'all ancestors got you covered. Trust me. Trust me. You know, from all angles, your ancestors are always there for you too. And it's just a reminder that you are not the only one that has traveled this road. A lot of your people in your bloodline have traveled the exact same road. You know what I'm saying? Especially if this is spiritual. Oh yeah. You're not the only one that has done this. So it's kind of like, when you understand who your 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 ancestors were in your bloodline, look into who did what, right? Maybe somebody was a spiritual leader. Maybe somebody was a CEO. Maybe somebody started their own business. Maybe somebody, you know, was a, you know, I'm just going to take, you know, a civil rights leader. Maybe somebody was, you know what I'm saying? That blood, that energy, that magician, higher fun energy, that single self-sufficient, independent, uh, Knight of Pentacles energy is in your blood. Somebody specifically gets this from their father's side of the family, right? And some, um, and I'm, I'm, I'm getting a paternal grandfather. Your grandfather on your father's side is saying that's the blue door that you're supposed to work it, uh, walk through. Somebody was supposed to walk through a blue door, which is very calming. It, it's very like spiritual. It's your your highest self, right? So if somebody's supposed to be walking through that blue door. It is a grandfather on your father's side, okay? But yeah, that's the downloads that I wanted to give somebody. Your your ancestors are proud of you, right? The the archangels is whipping the the karmics behind yesterday. <laughs> now y'all are out here getting ancestral 
um, support in crowning you as a hard fun. Good job, Collective. I love y'all's energy, right? And which is why these people are defeated. I don't care who these people are. This is resonating for a work situation, but you're moving on from some negative energy yesterday. Anybody that comes against you is going to be defeated with this Five of Swords energy, right? It's defeat and battle. It's a loss. They, they wave the white flag. They got to give up. They lost, right? This is exactly what I'm talking about. I don't care who comes against you. Your friend, your family, your, your mom, right? Your coworker, your boss, they all get set down. I feel like... Um, this is bringing me back to something that I said in one of my prior readings the other day. Somebody dealing with this work situation dropped out of the 3D and handle it, handling it. You stopped dealing with it in the 3D and you went into the 5D to handle it. And that's exactly what you should have been because I do feel a spiritual component to this dealing with this work situation. You might be dealing with something in the spiritual community. Take the energy as it resonates. But I feel like somebody dropped out of the 3D to deal with this to handle it in the 5D. I love y'all's energy, which is why they always lose. And when they lose, it confirms that it was a bad investment to come against you. Page of Pentacles in the inverse. These people should have never came for you because they don't know how spiritually protected that you are. Not only in your blood, your ancestors, you have spiritual protection by the Most High and the Archangels that will always come for them when they come for you. Okay? It was a bad investment, right? And you always get the Six of Wands energy, always success, recognition, and victory. You always win, honey. You were always born to win. Chosen ones out here, newly ordained hierophants, newly ordained magicians out here. You were chosen to win. I don't care who don't like it. I don't care who gets triggered by it. I don't care who's insecure about it. This is literally your birthright. You were born to beat them. <laughs> you know? Oh my God. If they knew that, they would just stop wasting their time. You know what I'm saying? But because you're always destined to win. Six of Wands in the, in the upright. Success, victory, and recognition, right? Because you're the high priestess. Man, I don't make any of this stuff up, y'all. This is spiritual for a lot of y'all. This is this has everything to do with dealing with something in the 3D, dropping out of the 3D, and handling it in the 5D with your ancestors, your spirit guides, the archangels, and the most high. A lot of times, this is what gets a lot of people on their spiritual path. This might be that crowning that, that, I'm, that I'm getting from somebody's ancestors that I'm being called to talk about. You getting that high priestess energy. This is somebody who uses that their intuition, you know a lot of things. Your ancestors know a lot of things, man. When y'all meditate and go inwards, your ancestors will guide you. Your spirit team will guide you. The Most High will guide you. You're going to pull out a lot of things. That's your Akashic Records. I think somebody just asked to uh, access their Akashic Records. Y'all, y'all are y'all are powerful out here. Like legit powerful, okay? High Priestess Energy, you know a lot. You might not say a lot, but you know a lot, okay? People be trying to try you. They think you don't know nothing. But the more that you start coming out in this energy, they're like, oh, I messed up. <laughs> Bad investment. Page of Pentacles and the Inverse Energy. This is you following those intuitive nudges that you get from the most high, your spirit team, and your ancestors. This is you using that energy to get through this situation. Um, somebody's ancestors um, and... Um, depending on what culture you come from, somebody um, is being ordained as a high priest, high priestess, a mambo, a chief. Um, you know, it, take the energy as it resonates in your culture. You know, it would be different names for different cultures. So somebody, somebody, somebody's ancestors is confirming that's you. Don't deny it. It's you. You are a higher font. You are a high priestess. You are a mambo. How, whatever the terminology is for your culture, your ancestors are confirming that to you today. Okay. Because you are able to see through the moon energy. You can, you're able to see through things that are hidden from you under the cover of night. You can see things that are not out front in you, uh, in your face. You know, you see, you don't even need to know. It's like, I don't know that you're lying, but I know that you're lying, right? You don't even need to see the lie. You just know that they're lying because you pick up on people's energy, right? With the moon energy, things that are hidden, you know, can, some type of confusion, delusion, things that are hidden under the cover of night, things that are deceptive on purpose, right? Also calling in the energy of some spell worm. You know when people are sending negative energy your way. Um, like I was saying yesterday, we picked up on some you know negative energy for some spell work. You picked up on that too, right? Which is why you're closing out these cycles of people trying to do this to you. Whether it's uh, work related, I do feel like this is a work situation. You, honey, you're, this is closing of a cycle to let all that negativity go. Which is why you're moving on from this in your higher front energy, your high priestess energy, your magician energy. Honey, you are spiritually powerful out of here. These people came from the wrong one. They always get set down and you always got angelic and ancestral protection, right? Which is why these cycles are being closed out. It's a completion of that, that negative cycle, that toxic cycle. 
You know what I'm saying? And you're getting success to move forward in your future. You got the world at your feet. To move forward from a queen of swords and inverse energy, this is somebody who's very, is a liar, who's a manipulator. They're very insensitive with their words, with that sword energy and the inverse. You know what I'm saying? And this person always, it's like this uh, queen of swords and the inverse, very heavy on the vindictive nature. They always got something to say because they're always triggered. That's their insecurity complex is talking. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's like, they always get triggered by anything that you do. Like I said, I think I said that on a prior reading. This could be like a boss. You walk in the office and you're just like, good morning. They're like, well, la di da. It's not good morning. It's a morning. Y'all, <laughs> have y'all ever heard people say that before? Well, it's not good. It's just the morning. Honey, get a grip. Like always something like this. This is what I'm talking about. This is like the energy that I'm feeling from this Queen of Swords and the Inverse Energy. Always got something to say because they're always triggered. It's their insecurity complex is showing. Oops, got to be more careful. Um, this got, also carries the energy of the King of Wands and the Inverse. I do feel like this is one person, but if it's more than one person, take the energy as it resonates in your situation. This person is in the King of Swords and the Inverse Energy. This person is arrogant, egotistical, and overbearing. This is like a boss who always got to challenge what you do because they refuse to believe that you can do, even though you always show up doing, outdoing them. That's their insecurity complex is being triggered because you do something that they said that they can do or you do it better. And this will be somebody who's like, thinks that they do it all. And you constantly, continually always show them up in their face. So yes, you always trigger them which is why they're always going to say something like right? heavy on the vindictiveness. They just want to keep making you try to feel bad with that ace of wands and the inverse in this eight of, uh, ace of wands and the inverse and the eight of wands inverse. It's their insecurity complexes that are coming out. It's quite literally your light is irritating their demons. They should level up. They should stop being so like minded, but no, they don't want to do that. They refuse to believe that they are the one who's a lazy one. They refuse to believe that they're the ones that can't do. Meanwhile, they're staring at the person that, that is doing they're socking the person that is doing. They can't stop thinking the person that is doing. Man, y'all need to know what I know. <laughs> Confirm what I'm talking about. And this is our last clarifier. This person is always plotting, strategizing, and planning something. This person is always looking at you, what you do, to try to point out something that is triggering their insecurities. You know what I'm saying? You're not even paying attention to them. You don't care what they do. You could care less what that person does. But they are so hyper-focused on you because they know you do it better. You do it better, honey. So plot all you want. All you're doing is plotting your downfall, okay? Literally, <laughs> with the six of wands. You, honey, you are you are not only super bad in the, like, I'm not gonna lie, like, that was a movie, super bad. Anyway, I just wanna say like, y'all are like the bee's knees. Y'all are the bomb. Y'all are the boss out here in the 3D and in the 5D. Confirm with all that magician energy, hierophant energy, high priestess energy, you know what I'm saying? Nine of Pentacles in the upright. Knight of Pentacles energy, King of Cups. Man, y'all are the boss this person wishes that they were. They can plot all they want. All they're doing is plotting their downfall and their defeat. Five of Swords. You know, let's go ahead and get an astrology card to see what energy we're working with. Card 33, the Ninth House, Faith. Told y'all, y'all got faith and y'all's ancestors and spirit guides have faith in y'all as well because you were chosen to do this. All right, let's learn about the Ninth House. The Ninth House in astrology is the house position for the sign of Sagittarius and is ruled by the planet Jupiter, the planet of openness, luck, and expansion. This area of the traditional horoscope wheel is the, the house of travel, philosophy, high-mindedness, and also religion. The ninth house represents a search for meaning through established structures. Things to do with government and religion may come up whenever the ninth house is included. Destiny, fate, and karma all come into play, as well as your view of what God may or may not be. In this house, of knowledge, higher learning, lawyers, doctors, and astrologers are involved. It also most definitely is of the higher mind and our need to unite with something greater than ourselves. In this way, the ninth house represents churches and schools, especially ones that are old, established, and scholarly. Since it opposes the third house of communication and writing, the ninth house represents publishing and influences through the written word. It speaks of a form of written ideas and concepts, also of joining of a reputable literary world. So this house is important in the charts of writers or anyone who wishes to bring their ideas into a form using a planet-wide platform. It is a house of open ranges, journeying, and opportunity. The ninth house also represents esoteric matters such as psychics, psychic fairs, the new age, counterculture gatherings, or places where offbeat people gather together for some visionary cause. It also represents the relevance of obtaining psychic information. The Rosicrucians, an esoteric organization based on ancient structures, are symbolized by the ninth, ninth house. 
Occasionally, this card indicates a temporary disconnect from a close friend or family member where you must depart from your known life into another that is unknown, which makes you a pilgrim or a seeker. The Church of Rome is represented by the Ninth House card. It also represents alternate, alternate religions like modern paganism, Wicca, and so on. Um, let's see here. There is their most mundane meanings aside. Usually when this card appears, the reason for knowledge is for broadening an understanding beyond yourself. This will be, there will be a desire to visit places of arcane wisdom or knowledge where, can, where you can expect to see history and play and your mysteries of the ancient become unlocked to you. In short, this card indicates that you're about to depart on an important journey. It may be an outward voyage or an inward vo voyage to understand your ancestral lineage. Man, I told y'all. Either way, you will be changed through this process. This card has to do with what has been tried and tested and what is already established. No matter how expansive or broad-minded, it will be rooted in tradition. Man, I told y'all, y'all ancestors are coming out talking to y'all, and here's somebody, are, um, Akashic Records coming out. I'm getting ancestors confirming this for y'all. So, you know, if you do um, in your meditation, take time to thank your ancestors. They're confirming you all day long. Let's get our Archaeo card to understand what personality types you're dealing with. All right, the moon cat. Let's see what the moon cat has to tell us here. The moon cat's driven by curiosity and intuition. If you align yourself to her, you will learn to grow your innate perception. Invite her into your company, and if the mood takes her, she will show you alternate byways. Follow her padded footsteps and mimic her dancing amber eyes to understand what it is to be free. Her ways are enigmatic and unpredictable, yet far from irrational. High and low, the cat slips soft-footedly down the old moon's path. Her pupils expand, widening as the landscape's luminosity grows in a rising golden sun. Her cousin Phoebe has gifted the cat for freedom to wander wild from the dust to dawn among the rocks of the ghosts. Those who walk in moonlight are unrestricted by convention. They do not suffer obligation and are not constricted by any notion of contrived formality. Instead, they choose their empire of shadows where no cold-hearted human demands servitude. Ouch. The moon cat, moon cat patrols all corners of the earth, from the abandoned labyrinths of Lima to the gates of Eden, and from the palace of Versailles at the catacombs of Alexandria as well. Revered by the ancients for their independence, their names are inscribed in the libraries of man. A cat walks to their own beat, the drum beat of humans, which can only be heard at a great distance. I love that for you guys. It's like you're walking to the, uh, moving to the beat of your own drum, as they say. You're embodying the energy of the moon cat because you have faith. Your ancestors are supporting you. You know, they're acknowledging you. They're crowning you is what I heard. Take time to thank your ancestors, your spirit guides, and of course, the most high from getting you out of this situation. If you're currently going through it, this is what's going to be happening on your horizon because you had faith. You know what I'm saying? If this is, if you've already kind of crossed that threshold, congratulations. You're making it collective. That's going to go ahead and do it for this reading. If you do like this content, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And until the next time, bye-bye.